show you some stuff in the garden. Uh, we've got a lot of things grown this year and we're kind of in a battle with the weeds. Um, we get a lot of crabgrass and I don't know if you can see down here, uh, this stuff right here, I don't know what it's called, but we get a lot of this too. So this and crabgrass is what we're fighting right now. And we're using three things to fight that, I guess if you want to put it that way. Something new that I'm trying this year is mowing the grass, just to keep it from going to seed, because uh, crabgrass is an annual, which means it'll reseed itself. It'll only come back if the seeds are dropped onto the ground, and actually they're very good at dropping seeds and reseeding every year, unfortunately. So this is what we've got. If you look down these rows here, we've got the peppers growing, and we hand weed around the plants. And then we take this real mower, R-E-E-L mower, and mow in between the rows to cut down on the crabgrass. So I'll show you a little bit of what that looks like. of what's there. And why do you use a real mower instead of a power mower? Because we have one and it's cool. I don't know. It, I like it because it's, it's different and I guess because we're not using gasoline. So it's cheaper because of that reason. I suppose it's greener because we're not blowing around exhaust. And I suppose it's gentler on the plants. I think the, the power mowers can blow around a lot of stuff and if you're going past some plants that can't take that, you might be damaging your plants. So I guess that's that good enough reason. <laughs> so if you want to compare these two rows, or take take a look down that row and see, it looks like a manicured lawn, sort of. But it looks nice and it stays cut low so the crabgrass won't seed. And so far it's working. I think that keeping the grass there will also keep the ground moist. It'll keep some of that moisture in. Um, our soil is really sandy here and it tends to dry out really fast in the sun. So keeping the grass there I think is maybe helping with that. Okay, so over here we have, let me think, cantaloupe and cucumbers and watermelon growing. And we have black plastic around it. We've done that before in previous years where we will put black pot black plastic in between every single row in the garden and it worked really great for keeping the weeds down but it's a lot of work to put that down it's a lot of work to pull that back up in the fall when you want to till everything under so the other disadvantage to the plastic is that it gets brittle you can use it for I think two summers before it gets brittle and it starts just ripping into pieces and it's useless um, I'm not sure do you know what mill or heaviness this was that we used? I think we used six mil. Six mil? Okay, so it's pretty thick stuff. It's heavy duty plastic, but it's still, it gets brittle. It's in the sun all day. But anyway, you can see that it keeps down the weeds around my uh, cucumber and melon plants, which is really nice because these will sprawl out and it's really hard to weed around those. So we are going to do the black plastic for this again, um, just in a big patch here and see how that goes. So far, so good. And then over here, I've got a brand new garden tool that my sister-in-law gave me this year. Uh, we kind of bartered for it, so thank you, Leanne. This is called a scuffle hoe, and it's made by Rogue, R-O-G-U-E. It's got a picture of an elephant on it. It's very dirty right now, but if you look, it's got, it's a triangle shape, but it's got a sharp edge on each side. And I'll show you what this does go in here and find a spot here. You just slide it back and forth and it cuts down the weeds. 
Obviously it works a little bit better if your weeds are small still. The bigger the weeds, the harder the work that you're, you have to put into it. But this works really well. I'm really happy with it so far. And you can see down these two rows between the corn, the row on the left, I did probably halfway down that row with the scuffle hoe. And it probably took me three minutes maybe. And the row next to it hasn't been done yet. So it's not overgrown with weeds yet, but it'll take out those smaller weeds really fast and easy. Um, so yeah, I'll try to find out where you can purchase one of these and put a link on my website that you'll be able to find. Um, but I'm really happy with this. I've used a regular hoe in the past and it doesn't have a sharp edge on it, at least mine didn't. Um, and it's, it's a lot harder work using a regular hoe. You gotta really dig in and pound the dirt and whatnot, but this works really well having the sharp edge on it. And no matter which way you're pulling or pushing it, it's cutting stuff down. I've also used a tool, um, I think it's called a cultivator. It's one of those push tools um, that's got spines that kind of do this when they, they roll and they kind of go like that through the dirt. That didn't work good at all. I couldn't get it to turn half the time and the other half of the time it wouldn't dig up any of the weeds. You kind of have to have little weed sprouts for that to work and obviously I don't have time to <laughs> keep up on weeding that much so I quit using that really fast. So uh, I guess that's pretty much what we're doing this year uh, in our battle with the weeds. If you have some good ideas for us to try or for other people to try let us know. Um, I think it's something that we all dread doing is messing with the weeds in the garden, but it has to be done if we want a good garden. So that's it for now, and we'll catch you later. See ya!